So today we will be solving a resultant displacement problem that reads, in an effort to recover the keys he lost in U.S. history class, Rooster searches the classroom by entering the classroom door due east and walking straight at 5 meters a second for 5 seconds. He then turns and walks 55 degrees north of east at 6 meters a second for 3 seconds. He turns again and walks 40 degrees west of north at 6 meters a second for 3 seconds. Finally, he turns 30 degrees south of west and walks at 2 meters a second for 2 seconds to find his phone on the floor. What was Brewster's resultant displacement? So the first thing that we want to do is take into account the numbers that we're going to be using in this equation. So those are going to be 5 meters a second for 5 seconds heading due east. The second one is going to be 6 meters a second for 3 seconds, heading 55 degrees north of east. Third one, again, is going to be 6 meters a second for 3 seconds. At this time, we're going to be heading 40 degrees west of north, which will look like this. And our last number will be 2 meters a second for 2 seconds, heading south of west at 30 degrees. Next, we know that all we're going to need from this is the distances that he traveled, so we can go ahead and calculate that out of these two numbers. If you're traveling 5 meters a second for 5 seconds, you're in turn traveling 25 meters. Again, 6 times 3 would be 18 meters. Another 6 times 3 would be 18 meters. And 2 times 2 obviously would be 4 meters. Okay, so now let's look at an illustration as what this may look like. So he walks in the room and immediately heads 25 meters due east, then turns north of east and heads 18 meters then turns west of north and goes 18 meters again, and then turns south of west and heads 4 meters. So in terms of displacement, we know that the angle or the length that we're going to want to find is from end to the origin, which is going to be this dotted line right here. And the best way to do this would be to separate this illustration into different triangles and find the lengths that way. So therefore, we're going to split this into a triangle, keep that going up, make that into a triangle, this into a triangle, and this right here into a triangle. Also from this above information, we know at the angles at which he turns. So first, we know that he turns north of east at 55 degrees. So we know that this angle here will be 55 degrees. Second, he turns 40 degrees west of north, so we know that this angle right here will be 40 degrees. Then he turns 30 degrees south of west, so we know that this angle right here will be 30 degrees. As you can see, there's a cube starting to form at these four points, and since we're trying to get the hypotenuse of this right triangle, our best first bet would be to get this length, which for now we'll call A. So to do that, we're going to want to get the side lengths here and here, which we can use by getting sine of 55 and 40, and subtract that from this length here. Also, we know that to do Pythagorean to get this point here, which is your overall displacement, then we're going to need to have this point here, which for now we'll call C. To get that, we'll be doing the same general concept, getting the lengths here and here using cosines, and the lengths here using cosines, and then subtracting the two to get your length here which will then be in turn subtracted from 25 to get your point. So I've blown up the illustration a bit to give a better perspective. Now we know that the easiest first starting point would be to get this side length by doing sine of 55 equals, we'll call, x over 18. So let's write that up here. Now what we can also do with this triangle is get the bottom length for this, which is going to be the rest of this square, by doing cosine 
which would be 55 equals, we'll call y over 18 again. So we'll write that up here. Now after solving both of those for the sine, you should have gotten 14.74 and for the cosine 10.32. Now for the sine, we were solving for x here. So we can go ahead and plug in 14.74 and for the y, 10.32. Now we know the next steps are gonna be finding our side lengths here, 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 and here, which we can do in all the same way. So looking over here at these equations, you know that sine of 40 is gonna be x over the hypotenuse, which is 18. You can do the same thing for cosine for the adjacent side, y. May work those four out and get your answers. After you've arrived at these answers, you can plug them into their corresponding sides and add up the total side length, doing that, adding the two. And from there, we'll be able to subtract this side length from this to get this point. And we'll be able to subtract this side length from this to get this point here, which we'll use to get our hypotenuse. After you subtracted 2 from 28.53, you would arrive at 26.53 for length A. And after you subtract 10.32 from 15.03, you you'll arrive at 4.71 for this point. Now to get C, we simply subtract 4.71 from 25, as we know that's the, with the beginning length. So now you'll arrive at 20.29, which equals C. So now that we have two uh, side lengths here on this right triangle, we can get the hypotenuse by doing Pythagorean's theorem, which will in turn give us our, the length of our displacement. So after doing Pythagorean with A and C to get your hypotenuse length, which would have been 26.53 squared plus 20.29 squared, and then square root that to get 33.40, we know that that is the length of the resultant displacement. So now what we need to worry about is the direction. The direction essentially is going to be this um, angle here, so we'll call that theta. Now what we can do here is we can do cosine of theta, which would be 20.29 or 33.40, as stated here, and hopefully we would arrive at the answer 0.607. Now that's going to be the cosine of it, so to turn that into an angle, we would do cosine negative 1 of 0.607 which would equal 52.63 degrees. So we know that theta now is 52.63 degrees. Now, we also know that we're traveling north of east, since it was said in the beginning that you entered the room at due east. Therefore, our answer for the resultant displacement would be 33.40 meters at 52.63 degrees north of east.